hello, thank you for tuning on to another episode of our scripture breakdown ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Ephesians 4, verses 17 and 18. And it reads, These I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord that you shall no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk in the futility of their mind, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart. I repeat, this I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that you should no longer walk as the rest of Gentiles walk in the few. Excuse me. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk, in the futility of their mind, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God, because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart. Now, I want to divide the scripture into five parts. And the first part says, This I say therefore and testify in the Lord. Now, this was Apostle Paul still speaking to the Ephesians um, when he wrote his epistle to the Ephesians. He said, This I testify to the Lord that you should no longer walk as the rest of Gentiles walk. So he was um, baconing, he was um, urging the Ephesians not to walk as the rest of the Gentiles walked. Now the Ephesians are a part of the Gentiles. Now because of the dispensation of Christ, because the dispensation had changed from the dispensation of um, the Mosaic era onto the dispensation of Christ. Now, Christ had come, died, Christ had gone at this time, and therefore the Gentiles had been preached to. The Gentiles had automatically become partakers of the, 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 the benefits of heaven through their faith, through the walkings and the and the crucifixion, death and resurrection of Christ. So hence, he was speaking also about the Gentiles um, who were not in Christ. So he said, no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk. So the rest of the Gentiles were not in Christ. Now the Ephesians here, at the Ephesus at that time was a city that was godly even though they partook in a lot of um, idolatrous worship of um, the goddess Diana, they also had a lot of Christians who embraced the doctrines of Christ, who embraced the teachings and embraced God as a whole. So here he was warning them to separate themselves from the ways of the rest of the Gentiles, be it Ephesians or other um, neighboring um, provinces around the Asia Manor. This is in the futility. So the, the, the rest of the Gentiles walked in the futility of their mind. And futility means uselessness, the uselessness of their mind, engaging in things they ought not to engage in, being, um, being um, surrounding their minds in things they ought not to do. So having their understanding darkened, having their understanding darkened. Now, having their understanding darkened could be having their understanding darkened by philosophy, having their understanding darkened by the, 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 um, the idolatrous worship with their engaging. Now, people that are on the other side, 
understand things differently from, from people that are on God's side. And children of God understand spiritual things differently. Children of God interpret spiritual things differently than people on the dark sides. Some things are understood, some things are, are clear, some spiritual things are clear, while other things are interpreted in different variations based on the side which they are in. So here he says their understanding is darkened. That means the understanding is not of God. Be it understanding the, the way they understand the Bible, or be it the way they understand spiritual things, be the way they understand their, their everyday life, the way they interpret things. The, the way they interpret things are not the way Christians interpret things. So he said, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God. That means as far as the things of God are, are um, as far as the things of God are, they are aliens. The things of God, they, they cannot comprehend the things of God. They cannot understand the ways of God. And therefore, anyone that cannot understand the ways of God can never partake in the ways of God, cannot be a part to leading a God, a God life or leading a God um, um, instructed life. Then he also says, being alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them. So the cause of alienation and the cause of their, their understanding being darkened is as a result of ignorance. Ignorance is not as though they are not aware. The spirit is sort of subconscious, sub, subconsciously aware, but they choose not to delve in deeper. In, in, in the book of Romans, it said the physical attributes are clearly seen that so that there is no excuse. So the, the human being knows about a higher being called God. It, it, this is a mean because we are created in the um, image and likeness of God. We intrinsically know when we are born that there is a higher being. But because of the ways of the world, we choose to embrace ignorance. We choose to embrace the, the, the other worldly doctrines which have been circulated every day and which um, the Babylonian system which tend to um, erase the person of God out of the picture even though he is the creator of the heavens and earth, even though he is the I am that I am, even though he is the king of kings and the lord of lords, the, the system tends to want to erase the person of God and that is where the ignorance comes in. So he said because of the, the ignorance that is in them and because of the blindness of their heart, because of the blindness of their heart. So their heart is blinded to so many things, blinded to the fact that there is a God, a God of love, is blinded to the fact that there is a higher being called Jehovah Nisi, the I am that I am, the ubiquitous God, the omnipresent God, the only signed God. And their heart is blinded to the fact that um, there are there are things. There, there, there is this being who created everything natural, including mankind. And as a result of that, they are not able to see. Their heart is blinded, and the worldly things are the things that blinds their hearts. The, 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 the worldly things, the crave, covetousness, the, the worship of not only of idolatrous God, the worship of materialism, the worship of things that are not and are, are irrelevant to the building of the soul, the building of the, of the mind, the building of the body. The, the worship of these things are the things that have hindered a great deal the 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 that have fostered hindered a great deal um, many people of the world and have fostered the blinding of their heart. 
Now, we'll pray that God is able to expand our minds on this word, that God is able to give us more revelation or knowledge on this word, that we will be able to walk with it and run with it. Ultimately, that veil that has covered the eyes of many be lifted up, that the blindness of the heart of many be opened up, that the eyes of the heart be opened up, that they might be able to see, they might be able to perceive, they may be able to, to uh, become partakers in the things of God, that, that let the hand of God, the right hand of God, which does fill in the tents of the righteous, begin to go forth and begin to open up their minds, begin to open up their hearts, begin to open up their system that they may be able to see and know the truth of the existence of the one and only living God. Also ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you so much for listening. God bless. God bless. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.